done a very fine job. His catching has improved so much. Petroselli to Andrews to Scott. And Bando to Mencher. He has a major league lifetime record of 291, and he's been in the majors since 1958. Here's a base hit, so it's 11 games now as he singles to center, going for two, and he is out at second. Petroselli taking it safely in his last two games with four RBIs. Fly ball to Tony Canigliaro. He's got it for the out to retire the side. Nice catch by Tony. And in the third, no. Very high to straightaway center. Monday going back. And gone. Home run for Carl Yastrzemski, number six. The Red Sox lead one to nothing. That one didn't go as far as last night's shot, but it was enough. One nothing, Boston, fourth inning. And that's in there, base hit. Rico's being waved on, and he'll score. Two nothing. Scott knocking in his 13th. Petroselli stabs that one for out number one. Ball well hit by Campy, but Rico two steps to his left. He's out of there. Good pitch on the black on the outside corner. Came to the Red Sox as a no wind up kind of pitcher. That's something that he had developed in Cleveland to get control. But then late in the season, when he started working in the bullpen, he came out of there, and you see where his arms go in front of the top of his head now. The grounder is past him, and Andrews will field it and throw Monday out to end the inning. One, two, three, they go in the fourth. And after four innings of play, it is two nothing Red Sox. Moving to the top of the fifth inning, or the sixth inning, with the Red Sox leading 2 0. 30,000 caps given. They lead 2 0. Carl, one for two. That was his sixth home run of the year and his 17th RBI. Uh oh. Way up in the air. And forget it, baby. That's way into the bleachers for his second home run. And his seventh of the year is 3 0 Red Sox. He got all of that one. First one was a fly ball that kept going, but this one was really delivered. Back into a run. Well drilled to left center field into the hills. Home run. Two men left on. At the end of seven and a half, it's Boston three and Oakland two.
Hits one into right center field. A base hit. Takes the turn at first base. And holds there as Rick Mundy fires the ball in. Times this year. He's been caught three times. There's a fly ball deep to left. And this one is gone. Halfway up in the seats in left field, Tony Canigliaro delivers a big home run with two men out of the ninth inning. And Boston goes back in front by a score of five to three. Tony Canigliaro. Petroselli to Scott, one away. Of course, this is where you were motioning to me just off the air, Ken, that you would throw him a breaking ball. With two and two, I'd have gone back and reached back and give him a little extra fastball. If he hits it, he hits it. He earns it. You don't want to go three and two on fellas like this. There's a fly ball to center. On, Smith Reggie. going back. He's got it for the out. I didn't realize that he has that outstanding fastball. A lot of times he thinks he should throw a breaking ball, but he's got a good fastball. There's a liner to Rico, and it's all over. Petroselli takes a line drive off the bat of Sal Bando, and the Red Sox and Sonny Siebert have uh, broken a three-game losing streak by coming up with a victory here against the Oakland Athletics this afternoon. The final score, Boston 5 and Oakland 3. And we'll be back with a rundown for you in just one minute. There's a drive toward right that may drop in from Kenny Gliero, and it's a base hit for Gutierrez, a single to right field. The outfield put it's 325. There's a drive into left field. Left fielder coming over to try and hold it to a single, and he will. Willie Horton got to that in a hurry. Reggie. The Atlanta Braves. K line very deep and right. The wind is blowing against left handed batters. There's a drive toward center. It's deep. Going way back. Northrop. He is looking. It is gone. <laughs> Detroit nothing. Figures, for example. But it certainly was an indication that he was ready to come back. Maggie has been kneeling in the on deck circle now for seems like four or five minutes. Jerry Moses hits a ground ball into right field behind the runner. Andrews going for third. Let's see if he makes the turn. Kaline had to come way in. The cutoff is taken by Cash and Wally Moses. Jerry Moses, one man out in the bottom half of the second. The Sox lead 2-0. Yaz hit a two-run homer in the first if you just turned us on. Ground ball back through the middle. Base hit. Moses for third, and Nagy has made quite a debut. The Orioles and the Yankees scoreless after one. There's a sharp one hopper to Rico. The throw is hard and on the button. Red Sox, three to nothing. In the middle of the third, it's Boston, three, Detroit, nothing. We'll be right back with more Red Sox action in a minute. 40 to 50. Sharp ground ball past Petroselli for a base hit for Willie Horton. Yastrzemski has it. So the Tigers, with one out, have a something 
or other here in the top half of the fourth inning. Three one pitch sharp drive to center field and on the hop Reggie Smith has to play it safe and two runs have come in and it's three to two Reggie made a move for a moment as though he would try to grab that but it was hit too low he had no chance to have at Fenway Park the Red Sox three Detroit Tigers two. Quite a haze as it passes through the light towers. Drive to right field, base hit, at least one. Tony is over there. The ball rolls quickly to a stop in the wet turf, and Kaline is held at first base. Second. He's going. Long drive to right field. Looks like it's gone. Home run for Norm Cash and the Tigers lead. That went into the Tiger bullpen right at the barrier that separates it from the Red Sox bullpen and Detroit on Norm Cash's fifth home run have, has gone out in front. John Wirt, the third baseman, and the pitcher, McRae, and leadoff batter Dick McAuliffe. Detroit is leading four to three. Jarvis is 0 and 1. His earned run average is 1.74. It's a fair ball off the barrier. Yaz hustles in and he'll hold it to a single. But Wirt hits a shot right over the third base bag and has a base hit. After three innings, Milwaukee won Kansas City nothing at the end of one. Ground ball to the right side, through into right field. So Gary Peters gets his second hit of the game, a single to right. And despite the heat, he's going to put that jack.
There's a drive toward left center. It's deep. Buchard chasing it. He gets it right near the barrier. John Buford waiting on deck is Terry Crowley who's replacing Frank Robinson who injured his wrist jamming into the wall last night in the eighth inning. There's a bunt surprise bunt over comes Rico and he backhands it beautifully. Fine fine play by Rico Petroselli. Big Boob Powell is on deck now. Sox like to pitch to him as leadoff batter. There goes the runner. The throw will not be in time. He got a big jump on Kelp. Four steps against Louie. There's a base hit, I think. Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't have jumped on that one quite so fast. The pitcher due up next. We might see some action on Alvarado. There he goes. They got him. Two to four. From two and two pitch will be coming up. There's a base hit. Krenski picked it up barehanded and fired it in. So Elrod went against the shift and just slapped it into center. He got the hit sign. It's a drive to deep right center, and it's going to the barrier. Moses has two, and he's going to pull up with a double. Eddie Popowski. White umpires, Rush gets. There's a drive that is taken by Schofield. Ducky was just tall enough for that. He's about 5'7. Uh, Ground ball to Rico. Drive toward Jastrzemski and left. All out for the birds in the third. Jerry is now behind two strikes. The drive to beat center. But again, it's fighting the wind. Two men around Ski twice. Filling in for the injured Frank Robinson. Two outs, two men on. No score, last of the fifth. The long drive to right field, and that will bring at least one. It'll bring two runs as it rounds away from Canigliaro. The Orioles lead 2 nothing. Two men on, two men out. It's a long drive. Reggie is there, and he takes one away from the Orioles.
than that one. Pop up to the right side. Could drop in there. Blair on his horse. Coming. He can't get it. Bounds away. Scott's going for two and he'll make it. Standing up. George bloops one into right center field. Two balls to count. There's a line drive to second and it will be a double play. Well, you can't beat that kind of... Uh, There's one that is hit out toward the line in left field, and Yastrzemski takes it as the wind brought it back in. It appeared it might go to the stands. Leonard is warming up. There's a base hit to center field. A single to center. Drive to deep center. That looks like it's gone. Home run. <laughs> Playing back of second base, just beyond Palmer. It's a pop up to the left side. Brooks Robinson waiting for that. One out. Palmer gets his sixth strikeout here in the ninth inning for three runs. Blair's homer would have been enough the way Pop, I believe, the first shot out of the season for the Orioles pitching staff. Ground ball to short. That should do it. Belanger, the first, and that's the ball game. Dick Schofield is hitting 190 with two runs batted in. The infield straightaway deep. Ground ball to the left of Belanger. He stabs it out there. There's that defense and the big scoop up by Big Boo at first. So the Red Sox are still snake fish. Everything seems to be going against them. Probably play if there were a dire necessity of it. But Earl Weaver announced before the game that Robinson would not play today at all. He has an injured wrist. Crowley lines a base hit to right field. Down to second goes Buford. Second, no score in the ball game. There's a drive to deep right center field. Blair on his horse. Can he get it? He's still ripping the ball. It's over. The fence for a home run. He is the one most disturbed by it all. Ground ball toward the middle and it is almost taken by Belanger. That's got to be ruled a base hit. Base hit it's ruled. About 240 to 250. Barrel chested. Next size about 19. Base hit to left field. He's becoming quite. It'll be interesting to see if that had any effect on Mike Nagy, whether he is now unsettled after. Struck out three of the Red Sox today.
Buford's playing a deep left field against Reggie. Pop up to the infield. Brooks Robinson gives way to Mark Belanger. One ball, two strikes, one out in the Red Sox sixth. Boston leads one nothing. Dostrensky is out number two as Cuellar gets his fourth strikeout. There's not much better days. He's walked three, struck out four, given up just two hits. Ground ball to third, right up for Robinson. Easy out. No, Crowley has one hit in three tries. He is filling in for the injured Frank Robinson. Seaver, the losing pitcher. There's a drive toward left center that could be for extra bases. It's going to the barrier. Probably three. No, they hold him up as Smith fires the ball in to the cutoff fan, Louis Alvarado. But it's a double for Crowley. The Red Sox lead 1 0. Nobody out in the Baltimore eighth. There's a base hit. Coming around third, Crowley, the throw to the plate. He's got him. Moses blocks the plate and holds on to the ball. And a great throw from Tony Canigliaro paid off. Ground ball out toward Johnson. He backhands it. Two down. Looking for a balk. There's the bunt. Plays at third. He's out. They got him. They got Hendricks. Fine play by Lyle, and there was what the Sox were hoping for. Elrod doesn't. Ground ball into left field. And here comes the tying run to the plate. Two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Lyle needs to strike him out. And he does. Two men are out. And now the defense shifts back. It was curtains for the Red Sox in that last of the ninth. But Lyle got out of it. For that big strikeout of Powell. God is a strikeout victim. Five strikeouts now for Baltimore pitching. Louis Alvarado has failed to hit in three tries. Fly.
Fly ball to center field. It's deeper than Blair thought. He started in on that. A pop up in the short left field. He goes some on out there. He was hit by a pitch earlier in the game. Hit on the head on the helmet. But he stayed in there. There's a drive deep to left center field. Reggie Smith is back. I think it's over. It's gone. And there's the ball game. Breaks it up. He's the hero. Eddie Watts, the winning pitcher. Pop up at the plate to the right. It's foul. Jerry Moses has room. Ball one. Dick Bosman is the right hander working. There's a drive to center, base hit. Ed Stroud tosses it in, and Yastrzemski as White Sox come in Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon. The Twins in Kansas City will also be coming into this homestand. Reggie Smith single to center to get on first base. Now it's three and two with one out on Yastrzemski. He's going. Yastrzemski strikes out. The throw to second is waiting. And the Red Sox are out. Yeah. Aurelio Rodriguez. There's a drive to left center field. That's going to be in there. Bounding off the wall. Smith plays the hop. Rodriguez going for two. The throw. Out. And shortstop Louis Alvarado will be coming into the picture now to face Bosman. Oh. Louis Alvarado. Alvarado batting 261 with six runs batted in and no homers. Petro still at first base. Bosman throws low, ball one. Coaching at third and Lenhart, Don Lenhart at first. Foul ball back. Great play. I went down for the count of eight. Oh, it came right in here and right past my head. Yes, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, just like old times. Ground ball toward left field. Brinkman has it. No, he can't get it. And it's a base hit. It was better to take a fall than a ball in the head. And it was that close. Huh? I'm fine. I just went over it backwards, that's all. Two men on now. 
on the base hit by Louis Alvarado. The batter is Jerry Moses. There's a drive to left in the corner. That may bring the run. Here comes Petroselli. He'll score. The throw to third, not in time, and Moses has a double. I must get George Scott to autograph this. Tony started after it and then checked up. center field and it gets through there the second baseman Cullen playing over toward the bag was able to get a glove on it the fellow Len Casanova a good glove man with a very strong arm Jerry Moses ahead of the pitcher now two and one Alvarado is on first there's a drive toward left center, but drops in there. Louis could come all the way. He loses his helmet. Coming around. The throw to the plate. He scores, standing up. And it's another two base hit for Jerry Moses. The one strike pitch. There is a base hit to center field by Reichardt, and Howard stops at second. Rodriguez has reached twice. He singled in the second after stealing second base. Aurelio Rodriguez up there with two men on and two men out. Bill Lee pitching. Ground ball into left field. Howard makes the turn. He's coming home. And he makes it. Frank Howard was given the green light by 25 points in his batting average in the last several games. There's another long one. Is it fair? It could be. It is. Out of here. That's all Williams wants of Bosman today. There's a drive toward center and it's through. And so he definitely wants Nelson now. And the umpire gives the indication up to the press box to announce he drove in the first two Boston runs. Canigliaro and Jastrzemski accounted for the others. Runner on first, two down. There goes the runner. A hit and run, drive to right, and it's a base hit. Cullen goes for third and Brinkman singles into right field. So the tying run is now at third base on. Ground ball. Throw to second. Force play. Nice play by Petroselli. He had trouble getting that ball out of his glove but he managed to get it in time over to Andrews for the force on Brinkman. So Lee pitches out of trouble going into the last half of the sixth inning. The Red Sox hold a four to three lead. And waiting on deck with a pair of doubles to his credit in this ball game is Jerry Moses. Two runs batted in. Scott at first. He's going. It's a call strike. The throw is in there on a nice tag made by second baseman Tim Cullen. Howard at one time was property of the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Ground ball to shortstop and through. Despite the shift, Howard gets a base hit, a single into left field. Alvarado was shaded toward third base, and again there's action in the bullpen. Looks like Lee staying again from here. It is, and Charlie Wagner is going out, and there goes the. There's a drive in the air toward center field. Billy C coming on. He has to play it safely. The ball dropped in front of him for a broken bat single by Reichardt. So we have two men on. Staying with the jacket on first. Andrews waiting. Takes inside. The throw to first. They've got him. He's out. Pick off. Stang is caught by the second baseman Tim Cullen from French to Cullen. That one into the grandstand. The count on Yaz now is two strikes. There goes the runner, and it's a pop up to the left side. Shortstop Ed Brinkman. Third baseman there, and it's the third baseman Rodrigo. The Red Sox take the field. The Senators to the dugout. Now the count is one and one. Sixteen players have appeared on the field for Ted Williams thus far. Canigliaro hits a long drive to left. If it stays fair, it is gone. Home run. The argument is on. There go the Senators out toward the. Umpire at third base. Ted Williams is going to walk out there too. It's a home run. All of the shouting will do no good. Canigliaro hit his second. One of the players is the loudest of all, and Ted Williams is to the left of one of the umpires there. He Nobody out in the Red Sox eighth. Horatio Pina, the fourth pitcher for the Senators, delivers. There's a drive toward Frank Howard, and he was playing it, but it's too late. He was playing in the right position, but Pina was asleep on the mound and couldn't get over despite the fine backhand stop by Frank Howard. It's a base hit. The Red Sox, five runs, nine hits. The Senators, three runs, 11 hits. Casanova, French, and here is Roseboro batting against Lee Stang. The Red Sox lead by two runs on the strength of homers by Yastrzemski and Canigliaro. For Tony, it was his second of the game. Roseboro batting 239. Leading off in the ninth. Ground ball toward Andrews. Waits for the short hop and throws the runner out. Howard walked once and scored the third Washington run. Lee Stang in relief of Bill Lee. Big Frank Howard. Waiting for the first pitch. And he tried to pull the ballpark and missed it. That would have pulled the ballpark and probably the league. Lyle and Romo. Just in case. There's a drive in the air, deep to right center. Tony Canigliaro takes it. Two down. Boston five, Washington three. 
There's a drive in the air toward right field. Could be over. There's the ball game. Canigliaro with two home runs. The final put out. Lee Stang is congratulated by Rico Petroselli. There's the coaching staff. And the final score is Red Sox 5, Washington 3. We'll have the wrap-up in a moment. in uh, stolen bases. He doesn't have quite Andrews backhanding the ball but not in time for a play and Aparicio scores. Carlos May the town currently celebrating its 50th anniversary and on June 29th many top baseball dignitaries will go to his home. Here is a base hit for Billy. Fielded by May. Good play by Carlos May to hold Billy Canigliaro to a single. He got over there in a hurry and cut it off. Billy C. Singles to left to open the second. Johnson makes a good stab at the ball. Safe at second. Mark Johnson made Red Sox are behind one to nothing. This is the last of the second. Line drive to right center field. Bradford running hard. He can't get it. One run home. Two runs across. Andrews streaks for three. He has tripled. Red Sox lead. Derek singles to right and Andrew scores. Derek takes the turn and has to move back to first on the throw in. He is really ripping around that bag. So Mike Derek comes through with a broke, but they have come up. With three today, you're going to have to hit it. There's a base hit into left field for McCraw. Leading off here in the third inning as he bounces one past Rico Petroselli. Aparicio singles to right field. McCraw moves to second base. McCraw cannot run very fast at the moment because of a pulled muscle. Carlos is a brother of Lee May of the Cincinnati Reds. There's mm -hmm. a Lee May with Cleveland too. And Kenny's another pretty good hitter. Bouncer to Petroselli goes to first and gets his man there. A run scores and the other runners move along. Two and one half Boston leads. And in the middle of the third inning. It wasn't a week ago. It was two weeks ago where Yaz hit that home run over the wall here. Johnson pitching to Moses and bang. Base hit to right center. Moses continuing to hit over 300. He came in hitting 302. He's now one for two. He took a third strike in the second inning after he was trying to uh, hit to the opposite field and missed a double by a couple of feet down the line.
Johnson playing catch with his first baseman, Gail Hopkins, trying to keep Moses close. There goes Moses and a base hit on the hit and run into right field. Moses going to third. The ball bobbled around there by McCraw, and runners are at first and third. Perfectly executed by Alvarado hitting behind the runner. They had Moses going, and a Maloney right with that foul ball. It was down out of our sight, actually. Chopped for the second baseman, Canop. Save it first, a run scores. They did not get the double play that they wanted. The ball was too slowly hit. So scored a run. The Red Sox have a 4-2 lead here. Well stroked. Derek chasing has to play it off the carom board but it is played by Yastrzemski. The throw and not in time. Good throw by Yaz but. It is, and it's painful, as you can see. Very possible there's a finger out of joint or a split. Number 30 is Eddie Casco. Jerry was, uh, didn't waste any time on that. He knew he was hurt. He wanted to to have Satriano there is uh, high fly to left here's Derek and the run will score the throw to Petroselli it is now 4-3 Boston McCraw scoring, sacrifice fly, and again May has a run batted in. That's three today and 29 on the year. Hopkins checking with Adair over there. Now Adair's up a little towards uh, the foul line. There they go. And Scott makes a great play. He's out. The runners move, but there's a fine one by. It. This will get the runs in anyway. The charm can last just so long, Mike Nagy finds, and the White Sox take the lead 5-4 to four on a ground single by Melton. And that will be all for Nagy. He was uh, within one batter of staying in the ball league. The Giants lead the Pirates 4-3 after three innings. Houston won. The Mets nothing after five. High drive to left field. May looks at it off the wall and Rico has himself a stand up double. Just a fly ball that hit. George has grounded out twice and has made the fielding play of the day. Base hit to right. McCraw fielding, throws to second. The game is tied up. Petroselli scores. George Scott bringing him up with his bat as he did with his glove a while ago. That may be all for Johnson. As Don Gutteridge comes to the mound, and he wants 
Jerry Kreider, who has been warming up in the bullpen, to come on for Chicago. We have a word on Jerry Moses. Moses split his. Tom Satriano has had a fielder's choice and a single. I beg your pardon, he is up for the first time. Well, he, there's his base hit to left center. All the way to the wall. Satch has an easy double. Nobody there near the bag. And his first time at bat on the afternoon. One. After five innings, tied up. Curve, base it to right. He is two for four. McCraw throws in. As Derek timed the pitch perfectly and hit the curveball into right field. Toward the hole, good stop by Aparicio. Safe at first. Here comes, yeah, the plate. Derek is safe at the plate. And it's seven to five. Mike Derek hustling in following an unearned run to score and one left. It's some he was outstanding. It's easy to pick those outstanding guys, and he was one of them. Fly ball, Yastrzemski going back. And this one he plays off the base of the wall. Here's the throw to second. And May is in with a double. Carlos May hits a double off the base of the center field. Check swing, and it's caught by Romo. It almost went up over his head, but McCraw hits a check swing liner back to the score. Strike one. Great stop by Alvarado. And a good throw to get him. Fine play by the Red Sox shortstop, Louie Alvarado. There's a base hit into center field, and Hopkins is on as Yastrzemski feels the ball. Gail Hopkins singles to center with two men out of the ninth inning, and that brings up the dangerous Carlos May. Carlos May. Has an infield hit, is grounded to third, sacrifice fly, and a double. So he's got two hits and three runs batted in today. Seven to five Boston in the ninth, and warming up in the Boston bullpen. Fly ball to center. Back goes Yastrzemski, and he's got it to end the ball game. May hits a long fly ball to center field, and the White Sox are out of the ninth. What I was referring to when I mentioned May, and I didn't want to say it at the time, was last year he had a grand slam home run in this ballpark against Lyle to beat the Red Sox. But today, he flies to center field. So a 7-5 to five victory for the Red Sox in the second game of the series and we'll be back with a rundown in just a moment. He's batted in the last couple of years a consistently good ball player for Chicago. Strike two. The plate umpire is Frank Umont. At first is Jake O'Donnell. At second, George Maloney. And at third, Jim Honachick. One ball, two strikes. Aparicio is on deck.
fly ball to left. Yes, uh, uh, Derek plays it off the wall. Williams going for second base. The throw safe at second. All men too. Captain in the Marines. Just a fine, fine person. Aparicio lines one to center. Yastrzemski losing the ball as Williams comes in to score. Aparicio is going into second base, and it's one nothing Chicago. Louis Aparicio winds up. This fellow has been uh, in the White Sox system, starting for the first time in this series today. Hits one to left. Aparicio goes to third. And Lee Stang starts to loosen up in the bullpen for the Red Sox. Runners at first and third, and nobody out in the first inning of play, and the White Sox have already taken a one to nothing lead. home runs he struck him out breaking ball got him Scott hits one to right field. He rounds first, going to second base, and George is in with a double. George Scott leads off in the league in hitting for quite some time. They have added a lot of bats to this lineup. Alvarado hits one to center field. Scott tagging up. Bradford makes the catch. Here comes Scott. And as Matthias throws the relay past the catcher. 30 hits in this game, 19 for Chicago and 11 for Boston. Satriano makes that 31. Tom comes through with a single into center field for his second hit. So there's a runner on first, and score one man is left on. At the end of seven innings of play, the score is Chicago. Here's the pitch hit on the ground. Alvarado goes over to his left. Safe at first. Canop tripped going down there, and he is on as Scott went up for the ball. Here it is again. Let's see what Scotty does here. I thought Scotty tripped him. Throw was a little high, and he has to leave the. He tagged the bag. He hit, a, he hit his left foot. I think that's how he lost his balance. White Sox lead in the eighth. A bunt. Lyle throws to third. Safe. Weaver gets to first base as Lyle went to third and cannot beat. Base hit to left field scores Bobby Cannot, and Williams has his fifth hit of the ball game. Weaver going to second base, and it is 19 to 10 Chicago. Lines one to left field for a base hit. 
Weaver is coming in with a 20th run. Williams is being held at third. O'Brien has a double. A base hit to left field. Williams is home and they're holding O'Brien at third. It is 21 to 10. May singles to left field to score Walt. Scott grabs the ground ball, throws to first, safe. O'Brien is home with a 22nd run. May gets second base. Here it is again. <clears throat> he just beat him to the bag, and that's all there was to it. So that. The runners go, the pitch is hit out toward Mike Andrews. Throws to first out. Radford has reached the count. Or check it, one and one, I should say. Fly ball to left field. May looking up. And Mike Andrews homers. At the end of eight, Chicago 22 and Boston 11. Walt Williams up now with five hits in this ball game. Petroselli over to Scott, retiring the side. One for four. Base hit to left. Billy gets his second hit of the day. Runner on first base, and the batter will be Alvarado. Fly ball toward Williams. He makes the catch. Throws to first base, and back safely is Billy C. Good catch by Walt Williams in right field. Here it is again. As Alvarado hits it to right, Williams running in hard. And he catcher. makes the catch and fires to first base. Satriano hits one to left center and it's going to the wall. Billy Canigliaro coming around third as they juggle it out there and he's on to score. Satriano goes into second base. A double. For set. The pitch goes by everything, and down to third goes Satriano on a wild pitch. O'Brien. Makes the play on Pavletic and Satriano is home. Ground ball to first base. Matthias flips to the pitcher and the ball game is over. The Chicago White Sox winning it here this afternoon by a score of 22 to 13. And we'll be back with a rundown for you in just a moment. 